Welcome back, boys and girls, for our fourth and final Bible story. Today I want you to imagine that I am sending you on the wildest mission ever. This mission is crazier and scarier than your most insane dreams, than the wackiest movie or TV show you've ever seen, or the most adventurous book you've read. That is because this is a real mission with real people, real dangers, and real success. You're wondering why anyone would need to go through all this trouble, aren't you? You're guessing that this mission must be super important. Are you ready for the truth? Can you handle the truth? Well, the truth is that you will be carrying the truth with you. No, it's not a weapon or a briefcase full of money or a big expensive diamond. It is the truth that heaven is really near. That's right. All people are close to dying, no matter how rich, poor, healthy, or sick they are. Some people might live a little longer than others. Everyone, yes, everyone, will die. Some will live forever in heaven, and some will live forever in hell. Your mission is to tell people how to live forever in heaven. What will you tell them? Think about that. You should tell them to trust in Jesus, your Savior, who opened up your path to heaven. He cleared away all your sins. He is ready to embrace you when you die. He is here with you right now, helping you on your way to your real home in heaven. Let's also imagine that I'm giving you some way cool superpowers. For one, you are going to have the ability to make evil spirits leave people. Also, you will have powers greater than any doctor or nurse. You will know how to cure all diseases and sicknesses, even the worst ones. You will even bring people back from the dead. I will give you a lot of power, and I will be with you all the way. I will be your most powerful tool. I will help you when you don't know what to say. I will be your best ally on this mission. P.S. Don't even bother bringing money, clothes, or suitcases. I will provide them for you all along the way. Can I be honest with you? Do you know what wolves do to sheep? They stalk them and hide in the tall grass and the dark woods. They sneak over hills and devour them. You will not be the wolves on this mission, but the sheep. People want to make you be quiet. Some people don't want to hear the truth, and they might arrest you and even hurt you. When you get yelled at, hurt, or people chase you down in one city, run as fast as possible to the next and talk about the truth all over again. Here is some of the best advice I have for you today. Don't be afraid of the people who are mean to you. They can't take your faith in God from you. Mainly, watch out for the devil. He is smart and evil and knows your weaknesses. But don't be afraid because of your worth so much to God. He will protect you, his child and his sheep. Ready? Jesus told his disciples something very similar to this. He sent the 12 people that were closest to him on a mission to tell people about heaven and how they could get there. They spread the truth all over the land. The people who learned about the truth and trusted in it spread it over more land, so on and so forth, all the way until you learned about this truth. He told his disciples the scary dangers they would face and how some part of the missions would be really fun and awesome. He told them that they would find the true meaning of life by following him, and they made it. They were kept safe by God so that the truth be, could be continued to be passed on. Now that we know the truth, it is our turn to go and pass it on to everyone we can. So boys and girls, now it's your job to go on a mission and share the good news of Jesus with your friends and family. Thanks for hanging out with me this week at VBS, and God bless your summer.